I have to speak to the board for a budget. That's the worst one. Oh, true, yeah. <laughs> uh, 24k um, reclaim. So, okay. Let's get underway. It's not that much for a big map like this. So the map is a 15km map gen map. This is the third game of the series. Technically fourth because of a draw, but it's the third map. Between Slow and Pepsi. Uh, the first time it isn't the Cyber Mirror matchup. The current score is 1 1, so. And it is a best of 5, so there will be at least one more game after this. Uh, so, this map is gonna be a bitch to play, to say it's. Uh, like, especially the start. There's gonna. I mean, Siren again is gonna be super strong due to the rating. But compared to the other maps, the Maxes are quite. Closely located to your spawn. Like, uh, let me try to drop properly. Uh, well, I'm zoomed out too far, so I can't see it. Like, if you see this line, I, uh, if you zoom in, like, it's quite close to your main base, and that is where the vast majority of the maxes is. There's four locations in mid with three maxes each, but aside from that, a few loose maxes, and most maxes are on your side of the map. So. You can, even if you lose map control versus mass mantis spam or something, it's nowhere near as critical as on the last map, for example. There it was really bad, but the vast majority of Maxis is on your side of the map. So, uh, I forgot to change the scene. <coughs> now we'll get bullied by Andrani. <laughs> uh, it's only one and a half minutes. Why? I'm curious about Slow's land factory, his first one. He didn't make it adjacent to anything, yet he had the <laughs> choice to make it adjacent to a max. He just placed it he just, in the middle of nowhere. I mean, he probably wanted to make it as close to the north as possible to reclaim with his engineers. But then again, he could have just made it adjacent to the tech one max and it would have been like one inch more south. Yeah. Uh, Unless but... he has some mega brain BO planned up. But it's like whatever. Nice install. I guess that's because he's making with three engineers. Yeah, the start is gonna be a bit awkward. There's no hydro, there's a bit of reclaim close by. I mean, Pepsi's stalling EM and mass at the same time, so. Uh, it's fine. It's <laughs> He's not selling mass and he's only very slight E-star. Oh. Uh, this is actually irrelevant, mostly this E-star. It doesn't really damage him. I don't like him making all his pigeons in a clump like this. If there's a fast bomber, well, I guess it's Ooh. UEF, but imagine. <laughs> Like, oh. that's so dangerous, man, on the map with your Hydro being this far off. The bombers queued for slow, it's in production, and there's no <laughs> air factory queued I mean, up for Pepsi. I mean, it's a 15 it, by 15, it'll take a while, but... Yeah, and it will go after expanding engineers, so it's not gonna... Go, it, it's not gonna expect the pigeons to be clumped up like that. Low has built a T1 radar in amongst his EE pigeons, and has now paused the radar. What?! Now... Unless he thought Pepsi was going to go first bomb wars, I think, which I would not approve of. Sorry. Maybe approve to deal with raids, but still, it's a very, very weird. Uh, sure. Slow's so just queued up 10 bombers in the air factory. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the man doesn't need the, interceptors. I mean, that's such a slow style thing to play, though. You don't need interceptors to defend against bombers. If you just force so many bombs on your opponents, they only have to focus on defending against your bombers. Yeah. It's unironically something that can work. Like, your opponent has 10 inties and you have 5 bombers all the way all on his side of the map. You just have to keep killing his bombers and killing the new ones that come. You don't have time to do anything of, of yourself. And it's such a slow way to play, and I like it a lot. Pepsi is also only spamming out air scouts and T1 land facts. He doesn't have the E to afford interceptors. Ha, I knew I knew Andrade would make fun of me for not changing the scene on time, and he did, <laughs> but because I predicted it, I now got a one-up on him. Outplayed, you fool. Right, Pepsi's seen a bomber. Has <laughs> he, he's queued up a transport instead of an inti. Pepsi's counter to five bombers is five ah, tech on go. scouts. There we go, he, he's queued up the interceptor, but this one bomber coming in towards the main base, this slow locks the P-gens. Actually, he can bomb... Oh, no. But you were yeah. ill? What the fuck? My man. Nice, nice bomber. His bomber's on attack move to the back, but it's not... Okay, there we go. It's arrived Yeah, at... but the interceptor's already gone, and it's queued off of transport. Dude! Slow could just... Dude! Dude! Dude, no! Slow. 
Slow, micro! Slow! 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 Micro! No! Come on! <laughs> he <laughs> missed micro five times! No, I, I, I can't look at that but, yeah, anymore, man! That's so painful. He did see the pigeons and he did decide it's a worthy target. The thing is, does he, yeah, he will get a second pass, but he won't get a third pass. Uh, it will be enough though, it's cyber pigeons. pigeons. It's gonna work. Yeah. It's gonna work, they're all gonna, Ooh. yes! Nine down. And this oh, is the punish. I love how it was unintentional, Slow's bomb just happened to be there and like, oh wait, he has some things there. Uh, so slow is not spending his mass. Well, Pepsi is stalling E badly, so... An acceptable uh, trade. Yeah, at least he has his transport, transport loaded. Like, I would drop those engines and just rush pigeons. Nah, you don't have enough E to do that. He that already has enough... hydro. Well, oh, true, yeah, he should drop the hydro. But there's a bomber near it that could... <laughs> yeah, there's just many bombers out <laughs> on the map. Uh, oh, slow seen the... Slow seen it. Slow seen the... Transport. Well, there's one he... Inti that will slowly kill the bombers. Ah, uh, he, he's not gonna get the drop onto the transport in time. Wait, no, he's going for the Anfac. That's a shame. But <sighs> Slow is behind currently in mass. About 14 mass behind. Pepsi um... is full mass bar, though. Yeah, but Pepsi is overflowing that mass. With no E. That, that is... single tech from bomber was so critical. Like they did it so much damage, man. Uh, but aside from that, the expansion from Pepsi is better, and of course he's the one with Mantis, so the gameplay will be easier for him. Um, and aside from that, uh, let's see, there is seven land factories and two air from Zlo in his main base, versus only five and one for Pepsi, but Pepsi has more Split factories on the map? Not even. So slow is up on factory count. But these units are slower, which matters on the map like this. But these bombers are just killing any mantis that appear. Yeah, but not that efficiently. This one has one kill, eight mass killed. It's every little helps. One less mantis could be riding. <laughs> yes, but um, I think at this point slow needs a transport. Uh, also, he didn't quite expand with his engineers everywhere fast enough. For example, south of his base, those four maxes, uh, that three max expansion that's untaken, it was never raided, but he never bothered to send an engineer there. That's that's why on big maps like this, even if you can't defend your engineers, you should just send your engineers anywhere regardless, because some won't get raided, and those then will get uh, the value by making all the maxes. So I'm very curious if Slow will go for a uh, f for a lot of tech one spam like Pepsi will do with Mantis, or whether he will go for pillar spam or into a tight or go for a Titan rush or something, or maybe tech to air rush, Janus spam. I think all is an argument to made for it. I think Titan rush is the strongest, like some tech one spam into Titan rush. Yeah. I think the map is too big for pillars to work. Uh, you could go Riptides, maybe? They're a bit quicker then. Um, they are faster, but it's also... I mean, at that point, it's like, why just not go Titan Rush? Honestly, yeah. Is what I would say about it. Pepsi's transport getting sniped. Yeah. Some Mantis coming in the bottom left, though. They'll get a nice, juicy raid in. A transport going to the bottom as well. Where's that one? He's gonna make a proxy. proxy. Uh, I like that. I like that. That's a, that's a fun move. I'm not sure. He could actually go make it behind those base. Actually go all the way to, like, oh my draw is broken again. But remember, Pep Slow does have the T1 radar on his base, and he's made T2 air. The Janus accused, oh, yeah. no T2P gen. He's going straight for the Janus. Oh, that was one of the options. He's I was not e-stalling, or you're all mass stalling. Yes. Um. Although mass Janus spam is weaker against air after the. I mean, they got 
they didn't get nerfed, they got changed, that's a more, an, more accurate way to say it. They're cheaper mass-wise, but take longer to build and cost more E, so... Uh, that, means, that means Janus are mm -hmm. better against lands, but they are worse against air. They're but worse against, against... P-Gens? Liking Pepsi Space? No, I, I mean better against lands, because they're, they're, Janus are cheaper. So it's less True. expensive to fight against lands, but... They... Uh, you have less Janus out at any particular time as when you otherwise would have had. So that's why they're worse against Inti's. Because it's easier to Inti spam to catch up to Janus spam. So Pepsi has T2 air. He's getting a couple of T2 NGs, probably for Pigeon. And has started a T2 Max. Oh, uh, the Slow second one even. Choosing to stay on T1 Maxes. Zlo is quite behind on Masnicom actually. St Pepsi's stalling um, 66 Master Tick though. I love how Pepsi is like just ahead on slow on mass and gum, but he, he's the one that's stalling so much harder. <laughs> a single dude, slow just mass. made a single Janus. He's gonna he's gonna get all the pigeons with one volley. Or at least oh supports. yes, there's the T1 MAA, but that will be taken out. T1 MAA being rushed up by the NGs now. Oh no, not the same pigeons as earlier. The thing is, Pepsi is stalling E so hard. He that... he can't do anything about it. The ne next Janus is being bought straight over. He's going for the NGs with this pass, good. Oh no! That's such a valuable Janus. 1100 mass killed! And that it goes Janus. down, but it's, it's done the damage. It's done the damage. Oh, Slow is getting shifted no! on though. Why are you there? He's bought the Janus, he's bought the Janus to carpet bomb the Mantis. Where is, oh there it is. No, no, it's locked on the random Mantis. He's not gonna bomb. Oh. He can I thought he was bring that over okay, for he's, perfect he's fine though. Ball. He's he he doesn't oh, die here. He has O O C as well. Yeah, he has O C. Okay, thank God. Imagine if he would have died there. That would be such a sad ending. Tank in the back of Slow's base. You the can see has one factory. Pepsi rallied every unit on the map to middle, and so did Slow in response. <laughs> but uh, the Janus are a big counter to do to a shift G. You don't even need O C, man. Yeah, Corsair is being built now. One going up for Pepsi, but he has no air to look at the A T1 A from no. Pepsi's core base. Look at the T1 A. The thing is, Pepsi is not even in that bad of a position because he's been up on mass the entire time. Because Slow has so many untaken maxes on the, on the below his base, he's nothing. Everything was raided. Yeah. That proxy from Pepsi. I mean, he stopped making the proxy. He didn't have the mass for it. <laughs> but you can just expand and take those maxes. Like, unit wise, he has 66 mantis and 20 MAAs versus 100 tanks from Slow. No RT, no MAAs, just tanks and Inties. A big group of tanks, though, in the back of and Pepsi's if you, area. And if you Janus, they're gonna catch Pepsi from behind. Oh no, da, the T2P gen's nearly done. His rear end is under fire. Okay, that's a very bad shift, G. From, uh, from slow. There, is there a flak? Uh, T1 AA down. No, there's no flak. It's but literally look, just a couple of the... T1 AA. Yeah, but it's pretty good. T1 MAA. This attack was kind of a field. It was the pigeon is online. Unless he kills it right now, but... Yeah, but there's tanks coming as well. True. Oh, there's a turret. Pigeon's bombed. Yeah, it's dead for sure. Yep. What's the... And the T2 Max dies as a result. But here's the thing. He is not stalling E because the mass count is just that low. Yeah. He, but for some reason, Pepsi decided to make third more even more tech on MAA. Commander he he suicided so many units into the middle trying to cheese a kill on Slow's SU, and that is probably what might cost him the game in the end. Yeah. But aside Four from more that, being brought the, together. They're both gassed, man. Like, now Slow is rallying all his units there, but it shouldn't work, this attack from Slow. Like, the Janus, they keep going for the power, but you can just spam lines of power everywhere. Although, he's not doing that, so it might be too much in a second. But, like, he has a random engineers spread all over the map, right? He can just build random pigeons there. But he didn't do that, and now he's on actually on 200 E income, so I think this might be the tipping point. And Pepsi that's... has also sent all of his units to Slow's ACO. In mid. Yeah, but... He's rallied the shift, Joey. It's not gonna work. But there's a 30-odd 
MA-12 Shrike medium tank army, 35 in slow core base with reinforcements coming. Pepsi is making a tech to transport. Oh no. <laughs> I wonder why. Yeah, that was quite, quite, not the game I expected. I like some Janus doing some damage, it's good, uh, but it should never be able to. He just left, man. His ACU's half HP and being just left. shot down by two strikers. The Janus never should do this much damage. Like, that's a big misplay from on Pepsi's part, I think. But and plus are. the fact that he. I think he thought he was in a worse position than he was because he tried to go for the ACU, slow ACU, multiple times. Slow ACU got 30 kills. Imagine if. 40 kills. Imagine if uh, Pepsi had 40 Momentus raiding all around the map. Would yeah. that, wouldn't that be pretty good? Like, sure, you're gassed, but your opponent is gassed too. And if you just instantly react by losing your peons, by making random peons everywhere on the map, like, the more spread out peons are, the, the worse Janus are. And you just spam up AA uh, with random AA, and eventually, after the first few Janus passes, they, they can't really do much more.